welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the game gen channel where i'm playing the vanishing of ethan carter um at the moment as you can see we've only like i feel like we've come to the end but we need to clean up basically to get the proper 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 ending so let's travel back here shall we see i, I knew that the train one right at the start is i knew that we need to figure out all the stories so Okay, oh. alrighty, so... Alright, so let's go back. So we need to address what the fuck is going on. So we've got these... These are the two traps. The three traps. There we go. So I guess I've just got to find all the traps in the forest. Yeah. Jesus. I knew what we got. There we go. Wow, that is a lot of bodies. Sap by Ethan Carter. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. The villagers believe that this old man have hidden a jade amulet in the forest, but the old man wanted the villagers to believe this because they would search for forest of treasure and not drink his sap. One cool night, someone set fire to the forest and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. When he returned to the village, he found all the villagers' bones. The old man sat down and cried, then he found more sap to drink. Okay. Ethan, I told you, you can't be here. But Gramp... I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll read it later. One dead in-house fire. Fire damage, historic home in Red Creek Valley. A family of six was asleep when the blaze broke out. The remote house once owned by a Griff by the Odin Lake in Red Creek Valley. Gail Carter, 58, was pronounced dead. Remaining family, yeah, yeah. So that's stuff we knew basically from um, before. I while I'm down here though, I do want to figure out what the hell was up with that train one because we never actually did finish that one, and I'm not sure whether that's actually one I do need to solve or one that doesn't need to be solved. If if that makes sense, um, so we might as well. Figure it out. I'm just gonna ignore you, portal. So, ah. It's like a rock. Down here. Ah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Maybe that done it. Yes. There we go. Yeah. I, I must have just missed the rock. Right at the start. Hmm. 
Wow, okay. So I reckon that's last. No, 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 no. That would, this one would be seconds, because then he would have gone and grabbed the rock. Talk to him. Wax him. Yeah, let's try that. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. You can't destroy Ethan. You can't destroy time. And that's what he is. He is forever. Hail, honey. I wish there was another way. Okay. Travis, tell me where Ethan is. Now, I'm giving the sleeper what he wants. Oh, was that Travis? Look, old man, you need to go home. <gasps> Ooh. So that must have been one of the... Hmm. Okay. I'm guessing I've got to pinpoint all the different stories and in what order they they took place as well. So I'm going to go this way. Down. Alright. I'll follow you, beam of light. sleeper in my head then fight it i have to destroy the room Corvus. i'm sorry ethan oh no i can't let you do that mm, okay whatever had turned ethan's family against him the grandfather was trying to resist age helps against those things that feed on hate not because of wisdom or experience because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. Mm, okay. Alright, let's see if, uh, if there's anything else that we need to investigate. Once we walk all the way along this long bridge. So, just got the last one left. Last story. Mm, which is probably in that downstairs bit, which we never ventured through. Yes, yes it is. Of course. I knew we should have gone down there. Oh, well. So the, the train murder thing wasn't really 
I didn't need to do that, really, but... Oh well. Adds a bit to the story, at least so now we know what happened to Travis. Oh, that was in the deep hole. If this warning stands, walk no further. If this warning stands, our ritual failed. If this warning stands, the sea fin gate remains sealed. Okay. This warning stands, walk no further. Okay. Okay. This isn't creepy at all. What was that? What the fuck is that? Whoa! What the f Okay. Okay, all right. Um, okay. Oh, I don't like this at all. Don't like this at all. Really don't like jump scares. All right, I guess I'm finding bodies then. So, nope. Nope, 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 not going that way. I guess he just randomly spawns. I'm so fucking lost. No body there. <laughs> Get it. Thing. I was not expecting a horror part for this at all. Oh. Guess he's behind me. Well, that's four. How many are there? I'm not going to say I'm um, shitting myself. Uh, I'm running in circles, aren't I? Alright, let's just keep going straight. Don't think I've been down here. He is not. Oh. He is not dead, but eternal alive. God of strange aeons cannot die. We open the gate. The gate of old. His guardian's eyes have long grown cold. The name of our God, our true Faki. He is that which is, which should not be. What's up here?
Oh, they're standing on symbols. Hang on, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. There. Symbol is that over Z? Can't fucking tell what I'm doing. Or something. I think there's symbols on that that note down there. Yeah, so there's like a, a swell and an M. Swell and an M. Okay, so. That's a swell, and then the M. Okay. How do I know what order it's in, though? Oh! Okay. sure what the fuck is happening or where I'm going. Ah, oh, right. The curse of the sea thing, the Enochian Necronomicon, the iron ore miners had finally found it, but not all of them wanted to form its ritual and summon the sea thing, Ganai. One miner realized the ritual would unleash Ganai's flood upon this world, and so the miner had no choice but to stab the others with shards of magic held down. And I, in response, cursed the miner, who now wanders a mine, doomed to prevent others from summoning the sea thing and flooding the world forever. Mm, okay. Ethan, I told you to stay out. God damn it. Look, look, it's dangerous in here. I'll read your story later. Okay? And, um, please don't tell your mother I'm in here. All right? Okay. Now, you go. Get back home. <laughs> Okay. Uh, dear Mr. Carter, the United States Patent and Trademark Office has received your January 27, 1973 letter requesting further explanation as to why your recently submitted patent 527F2D was rejected by this office. As we explained in our previous letter, the patent was rejected for infringing upon a previously existing patent. We have on record from you more than four dozen requests patents submitted in the last 16 months. None has been successful and all have been met with challenges by you. Mr. Carter, we would like to consider this matter and future matters as administratively closed. Okay. Dale, get your shit out of your basement. Bring it to the goddamn dump. I am so sick of stepping over your lifetime of failure on the way to the watching machine. I'm not kidding. Either you move it or I burn it. M. Okay. Cool. So, I guess that's our stories done. So, I'm not quite sure how much longer there is, so I'll just keep on going. So, this one might just be a little bit longer than all the others. But that's alright. I'm sure you guys will, will manage. Okay.
Hmm. Christ, Ethan. You're in here again? They missed dinner. Mom and Dad are pissed. They've been looking all over the place. Get out of here, Travis. Leave me alone. <laughs> hey, Ma! He's in here! Honey, be careful with that lamp. Dale, what the hell's wrong with your kid? Painting on walls, writing his stories. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Ethan! For God's sake. You missed dinner! I'm sorry. I've been working on a story all day. How long have I been out here? The Adventures of Paul Prospero, Supernatural Detective. Where do you <laughs> get this stuff? Pop, would you get Travis out of here? Please? He draws pictures on walls. What the hell is that? Chad, shut up. You got yourself a faggot for a son. <coughs> Travis, let's go. Come on. Faggot! <laughs> Ethan, you're a fucking faggot! Travis, stop it! Oh, oh shit. shit. Everyone, whoa! Get out! Get out! Get the smoke, it's toxic! Oh, Jesus. Oh, God! What do we do? What do we do? Shit. I wrote about you, but I don't know if I created you. You made me real. I can't go yet. I have to finish my story about you. I wrote stories about everyone. I know you did, but my story's done, and it's a fine story. I can let go? You can let go. What happens then? Another story, kid. What else? Cool. So that was the vanishing of Ethan Carter. So I'm not too quite sure whether I like that ending or not. Like it, I don't know. It felt like it was building up to something, and it was very supernatural and all that kind of stuff. But it was just a figment of your imagination. And kind of a bit of a cop out, but it's alright. 
So yeah, so all of it was a story that Ethan wrote. And I guess I was comforting him before he died, I guess? Um, so it made, I don't know, it just, it made it seem like, you know, the sleep of this, like this ancient ritual and all that kind of stuff that we've got to kill and all that kind of stuff and, and seeing all the different ways that they manipulate Ethan's family and, you know, yeah, I just, I don't know. But every, everything else was fantastic, the investigation parts, the piecing of things together, all the kind of environmental puzzles was good, but yeah, I don't know, kind of a bit let down by that ending. But I'm glad that you guys stayed till the end, so if you liked this video or the series as a whole, please like the video, uh, and if you want to subscribe to some more games, not Ethan Carter, but I'm sure there'll be some more coming up soon, please hit the subscribe button, and until next time. This is a game gen, signing out.